Welcome to Ruskin, Florida. On today's video, we're gonna look at the parts of Tampa, Florida that the news isn't covering. The mainstream news networks are taking you to St. Petersburg Beach and Clearwater Beach, but we're gonna show you what the real people of Tampa are going through right now. The floodwaters here were like a river sweeping everything away in its path. If you notice this concrete slab here, all the sand from underneath it was washed away and the concrete slab fell into a sinkhole. Can you imagine the force of the water moving through this residential neighborhood was enough to sweep away this concrete slab? These residential neighborhoods on the south side of Hillsborough County are a complete mess right now. But it's very clear that they don't care about this area to begin with, it's just by the condition of the roads out here. This area was forgotten before the hurricane. Apparently this empty field is a park here. So this dumpster is just sitting here in the middle of the road and the first thing that comes to mind is it floated here during the storm surge. I want to have a real conversation here with the people of Ruskin, Florida. I didn't come here to hurt nobody. In fact, we're going around giving communities help. But as I'm driving around these neighborhoods, I can't help but notice that I'm getting looks from people like if I was going to steal something. I had one person come up to me and ask me, oh, is there anything I can help you with? You know what? I'm not going to help your community, Ruskin. You know why I'm not going to help your community? Because I came here to help, and you guys are treating me like I came here to steal from you. So I'm going to be real with y'all. Can I be real or do I have to lie? Do I have to sugarcoat things like the news? Or do you want me to go ahead and tell you guys what time it is, Ruskin, Florida? I'm going to tell you what time it is. The reason nobody's helping your community is because when you come here to help this community and you treat me like I'm coming here to steal, I'm driving around these poor neighborhoods looking for people who have necessity to see if I can offer them help. But I'm getting treated like I'm driving around scoping out places to rob them. So you know what, Ruskin? That's why nobody helps you. Now, it ain't just one or two people. This seems to be the predominant, I guess, sentiment in this community is to be hostile to outsiders. So if you have a natural disaster and people from other communities come here to help you, but you treat them like they came here to rob, what do you think is eventually going to happen to you, Ruskin? You think people are going to come help you when you have a disaster if all you can do is treat everybody that comes here like a criminal is trying to rob you? But imagine now that somebody comes here to help you guys and you treat them like they're a criminal coming to rob. And again, I'm not talking about one person. It seems like several people probably five or six people as I'm driving through your community, perhaps looking to see who needs water, who needs supplies, are treating me like I'm, I'm coming here to rob you guys. So is there really that much crime here in Ruskin, Florida that people are afraid? Are people paranoid needlessly?
Bro, people in this town are cold. You literally wave at people and they don't wave back. Seems like people here have got really nasty. People are asking Florida. I don't know what turned y'all so nasty, but you ain't gotta be like that. Another observation driving around is everybody here is on septic tank. There's no infrastructure. Everybody's septic tanks flooded because this whole area is underwater. So now everybody's pumping out their septic tanks and you can smell septic tank for, for miles. It's like, it's just saturating the air. It's horrendous. I want you guys to take notice of something here. Notice how it's a complete disaster zone over here, right? Just complete disaster. But then you look at the other side of the road over here, these newer houses, look at the elevation of these newer houses over here. The roof is complete, the structures are complete, the elevation's high enough so storm surge can't get to it. So look at the difference between this community back here up to you know high elevation and all that versus the community across the street you can go around um and you'll see the massive difference between building things the right way you can see here they're up on a hill they're nice and dry sure there might be some trees down and some minor fence damage and stuff like that but take a look at the difference between newer communities built nice and high versus what's across the street and that's where you start to realize that these hurricanes, if you're moving to Florida, you know, one side of the road is completely destroyed because they're old properties, they're below the sea level line and all that. But if you buy a newer house that's got good elevation, that doesn't happen to your community. So look over there, right? And then look what's going on over here. Windows blown out roofs ripped off you can't find a tarp anywhere nowadays the smell coming off of this garbage uh keep in mind that they had a storm surge with the first hurricane and the second hurricane comes around with wind destruction so just about every single mobile home in this park has roof damage the amount of houses that have their windows blown off here windows blown out 